What's going on, everybody? It's Shadish. We're back at again with the next Guild Spotlight video for y'all today. Uh, first one up is going to be We See You Envious uh, from the Global Server. They are a G1 ranked guild um, pushing for that G2 uh, at the end of the week. And their method of communication is going to be Discord. Their guild requirements are as follows. They don't have any unit requirements, but they are looking for Conquer 1 players, uh, 40, level 40 plus and uh, above 18 years old. They're looking for mature players. Their guild battle time, start times, are going to be uh, 7 a.m. and p.m. Central Standard Time. They do follow the plus six rule, and they prioritize high held towers uh, overall. They do utilize full defenses all week long, okay? So if you're looking to apply in-game, uh, send a message to Nordic Watch or Sooner with any kind of questions you have in-game, all right? And that is our guild here. Next up, we got the Champs. The Champs are a C3 slash G1 guild on the global side, and they primarily use English or German to communicate. So if you're looking for a guild um, that does uh, that does speak the German language, this one can be for you. Um, they generally run about 11 to 15 attackers, depending on how many units they, or how many people they have. Um, as far as the player level goes, uh, the majority of their players are going to be level 40 or higher and very, very active in chat. They're looking for people with at least six star, 10 six stars and with good runes. And they're looking for people that can clear TOA 100. Um, their guild battle rules are as follows. They start the raids at 12 a.m. and 12 p.m. server time. And the attack rules for them are basically uh, taking down the green opponents first if you can beat them, but there is no plus six rule. And they do utilize a full defense all week. If you're looking to apply to them, uh, you can apply in-game, add CRG2015 or CRG20, and they'll go ahead and be able to get in touch with you via private message so you can uh, jump on board and get in part of this program. So we got ourselves the C3 Guild, the champs. Yeah, buddy. All right, and next up, we got ourselves Visionaries EU. Big shout out to the Visionaries family. Uh, I've known Burst of Speed for quite a long time. Uh, Visionaries is part of a three guild community, uh, having the original Visionaries team, which is a G3 team. Then you got Visionaries EU in that G2 rank. And then you have Vsa Outlaws, which is their G1 farming guild. Um, so we're going to be focusing on uh, Visionaries EU for this one. They are a G2 guild on the global side. Their main, main method of uh, communication is preferably, preferably line, um, but uh, Burst of Speed doesn't mind adding people on Facebook if need be. Um, with regards to the guild requirements, um, they're looking for level 50 players and their unit room requirement, uh, basically enough depth to fight the G3 guilds. They're looking for people that can take on uh, the G3 guild, so the top 50 guilds. Um, he does prefer having a personal look at your monster box, though, to make sure that you are on point. Um, with regards to uh, arena requirements, uh, he's looking for generally people that are in the Conquer 3 ranks, able players and above. Uh, must be able to meme Vindicate and let him carry over the carry the guild over to the victory line. Shout out to Vindicated one time. Okay, okay, I see you. Um, guild battle rules. They start at 2 a.m. and 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Okay, that's server time, basically. Um, they have a plus eight rule, um, which is kind of unique, where you're allowed to hit two plus three people and then a green tower. So no, no red hitting. All right. Uh, they do use a full defense all week long. So again, if you're trying to be a part of the Visionaries EU guild or even their G3 guild Visionaries or their uh, their their farming guild, please be sure to send uh, Burst of Speed a message in line. It is Burst of Speed, B-U-R-S-T-O-F-S-P-E-E-D, uh, or find him in channel 114. All right. Boom. That's it. And next up, we got ourselves Masked Elite 333 with the guild leader rocking it as main killer. How you doing, my man? Uh, let's see. We got ourselves a C2 slash G1 guild on the global side. Uh, as far as communication goes, they basically utilize uh, the in-game source for communication. They do have a Facebook page if anyone's interested uh, in you know posting pictures uh, and whatnot. But... Um, they normally, they just use the in-game as far as communication goes, okay? Uh, as far as the level requirements go, guild requirements are looking for people that are level 40 and up, and they're looking for a few six-star and basic, you know, understanding of the of the, of the game with some basic rune knowledge. Um, you know, they're not looking for anybody that has all broken set and whatnot. They Hopefully, you, under, you, you understand the game relatively well. Um, that's what they're looking for, okay? Um, with regards to any PvE requirements, ideally, they're looking for people that are working on dragons and TOA normal, but will also accept people that are fine tuning their, their their teams and if they're active and willing to participate in battles for the wins uh with regards to their guild battle rules they start at approximately 3 a.m and uh 3 p.m pacific standard time uh for the second battle and then uh 
3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time when all attackers uh, swing, is what he says. As far as the plus six rule goes, it is in force, definitely. And uh, they are not a farming guild, so they do run a full defense all week. Um, if the lower level players are getting left behind, we might split up some of the members into our farming branch if necessary. So neither sets of players will are hurt by any level of disparity, okay? Um, also, he wanted to mention players need to attack members of a similar skill level. High level members shouldn't be using all their attacks on farming defenses when real defenses are present if available, okay? So if you're looking to get in touch with this particular guild, Mask Elite, you want to go ahead and shoot a uh, main killer a, a message in-game. Um, and then, of course, with regards to applicants, you can send a grill, uh, guild request depending if they have room, okay? So right now, they do have four spots here. So make sure that if you're interested in this guild, you hit them up as soon as possible because this is... Uh, all this stuff is on YouTube, guys, so these spots are going to be filling up pretty darn quick. So hopefully you can get into one of these guilds, all right? And that is Mask Elite. Next one up is going to be a European-based guild, uh, G3 guild on the Europe side. It's going to be Maelstrom. Uh, they are part of a, a two-guild community, Maelstrom and Maelstrom 2. Um, the, and they utilize the line app for communication, okay? So the rules are as follow. Um, they are uh, mainly looking for people that actively use line and are uh, use the logo as well as the plus six role. Um, for those that don't know a little bit about this skill, they've been around for two years now and they focus on keeping it very competitive, uh, but you know, definitely a friendly family atmosphere. It sounds just kind of like us. Um, they almost have never changed their members, nor do they recruit until now, uh, but they do go with a full defense approach and always try their hardest um, there's only five guilds that they currently can't beat on the Europe side, and that's by a very tiny margin depending on the day. So hopefully with this video, we'll go ahead and uh, be able to get you some you know, really strong members to go ahead and fill those ranks. Uh, they did launch a second guild to help stabilize their members, and they simply left it at that. And in all honesty, it's all going in the right direction. So I, I like the sound of this guild. I like the sound of this. Um, if you guys remember Soul Invictus, they used to be known as Soul Invictus, both on the global and European side. Um, and they, they might, you might have remembered them from the Aftermath EU, which they merged with and resided there for quite a bit of time. Um, what happened? They just basically decided to go back to their roots and start fresh and, and become the, the new powerhouse. Uh, they missed the thrill of having their own team as well as running the guild the way they chose to run it. Boom, I like it. I like it. Sir. So Maelstrom, G3 guild that is open for recruitment. They're looking for arena rating of Conquer 3 or higher, a minimum of 35 six stars and must possess a, va a vast variety. Okay, As you guys have heard in previous videos out there, you got to have a, a decent amount of units to, to take on the meta that we see today. Um, they're looking for people that are clearing TOA 100 and TOA 90 cleared um, raids level five and world boss rank uh, of grandmaster or higher so they are looking for people in that that are they're conquering in, in, in multiple aspects of the game um, they're looking at their glory shop buildings and guild war flags upgraded to a satisfactory level and ruined and geared monster for guild war defense as well as offense um, with regards to their guild war times the first war they start at uh, 1 p.m central european summertime and then 1 a.m. Central European Supper Time. And then Saturday, they uh, save a sword for an extra war at 5 p.m. Uh, Central European st uh, Summer Time. Okay. Uh, let's see here. And that is Maelstrom, the G3 Guild. Now, Maelstrom 2, which is the G2, G3 Guild, um, they, they're looking for uh, players with their reader rating of Conquer 2 or 3, a minimum of 25 six stars, and TOA 100 to TOA hard uh, 70 cleared okay so if you can get the devilmon on the hard mode then you're good to go raids so are looking for people that can clear uh rift of worlds level four and they also start at 1 p.m and 1 a.m central european summertime okay so if you're looking to be a part of any of these two guilds we need you to send a line message to must be pk okay just as it's spelled in the game as you see right here must be pk okay they're going to be looking for some information from you um, with regards to your arena statistics, your glory side buildings, your guild war flags. So keep that in mind when you're looking at that. These are, this is a well uh, thought out list of stuff that they're looking for. Everybody's different uh, with regards to the guilds. So if you're interested in something like this, guys, uh, this is a top ranked guild on the European side. I'm very happy to be able to uh, help you guys out and let your guild grow. All right, next one up. All right, and last but not least, we got ourselves Wild Pokemon, all right? They are part of a two-guild community uh, known as Wild Pokemon and Wild Po Club. Big shout-out to Wild Tofik. You guys might be familiar with him. He is a veteran of the channel 5001, 5001, which uh, was started by the Free-to-Play gaming community. 
a uh, big shout out to uh, that community right there. Uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So he states that Wilds is a friend of Guild where we all help each other out and uh, with the Arena, TOA, Raid Dungeon, etc. Um, they are a very cool and relaxed Guild. Um, with regards to Raid times, there is no Raid time because they are... Uh, they have a mixed amount of players in, in various countries, so they just kind of play as they go. Um, if you're looking to be a part of this guild, you need to go ahead and add me, uh, add me on the, or sorry, add me as in Wild Topic, add him in game, or online in 5,000 or in line or in 5,001 channel. 5,001 channel is probably going to be a great place to to meet some of the other Wild members. Uh, a lot of them hang out there, um, but if you're looking to speak with him personally, definitely hit him up online. He'll be there. Um, uh, but they generally do have a couple of leaders between both guilds um, hanging on the 5001 most of the time. So if you're trying to get a hold of somebody, um, that's going to be another option to go. So that is it for this week's episode of the Guild Spotlight. If your guild didn't get featured, more than likely it was because the uh, email was sent in after this video was made. I generally am making the videos um, around the midweek time, you know, three to five days in advance because I have to keep up with all the emails that I'm getting. Don't, uh, don't, don't worry though. Uh, just wait, wait for the next video. We're going to go ahead and put some information there. In addition to that, um, you can always save the email uh, or you know copy and paste the email that you uh, uh, sent to me and head on over to the Reddit forums every week on Saturday. They create a weekly guild recruitment thread um, that you go ahead and put out that information. So if you are looking for some new players, new members, um, that is another spot to go to in case your uh, guild didn't get showcased today. All right. That is it, guys. Thank you so much for this episode of Guild Spotlight. It's your boy Childish with Childish Plays checking out. Take care. We will see you next week. I'm out.